Hello, my name is William Grill and I'm the author and illustrator of Shackleton's Journey. This book tells the true story of Ernest Shackleton's 1914 Transantarctic expedition where he and his crew attempted to cross the South Pole. Although they failed at reaching their goal, their survival story would be one of the most memorable polar expeditions in history. So the inspiration for making this book came by surprise really. A friend of mine lent me a book of Frank Hurley's photographs um, and from there my, my interest kind of really grew. So it's from a book just like this really and I'd flick through some of the images in the book um, like this one here of the snow um, or the crew members on the camp there on the ice or perhaps it was some of the, the huskies like this and um, I really enjoyed just drawing from this book um, without really thinking about it too much. I was drawn to the characters and uh, some of the animals there and um, the way that I was drawing and colouring pencil seemed to really suit the content of, of this kind of subject matter. Um, and I think as well, I'm someone who loves camping, the outdoors, travelling. And so, sort of without realising it, it really tied together lots of things that I was interested in as well. Sort of like dogs and, um, uh, like I said, adventure stories and things like that. Um, and so I just started to draw the characters for fun. And I started off with some drawings just like this, where I was practicing drawing the characters in black and white, and then I'd add another colour as I went on. And I was sort of drawing um, different positions of the characters, different uh, individuals doing different things, like taking photographs, carrying equipment, sitting on a sledge. Um, so it was just kind of good practice for me, really. And then as time went on, um, I started to draw other things like the equipment they took with them on the, on the trip. And I just really enjoyed detailing out all the information here like this, the sleds, the ice picks and shovels and boats, um, uh, the coal and all the other equipment they brought with them. Um, so I just really enjoyed um, drawing it really for no, for no other reason than that. And then I moved on to the crew where you can see I was detailing all the different crew members and all the 69 dogs they took with them. I ended up writing little chunks of text like this as well, just for my own amusement. And before I, I kind of knew it, I was already making the beginnings of a book, but I, I, I hadn't planned to make a book at this point. And so I kept on drawing other scenes like this one here of, the, of them on the ice, um, a few more smaller ones, and then one, one or two larger scenes like this. Um, and so that's how this book was started for me. Um, I also decided to use a limited colour palette for this book, for this project. So I only use about six or so colours like this. Um, and mainly just the blues really. Most of the book is these three blue colours here. And I like that for a few reasons. Number one, it makes my life a bit easier. Uh, and then two, I prefer the way things look when we use a, a limited colour palette. So for me there's lots of different strengths to just picking a few colours and really seeing how much you can get uh, out of that. And then the last thing I would say about this book as well, which made it a really kind of important project for me, that um, when, I, when I designed this book, I, I had a person in mind um, who's basically me. So someone who, who doesn't really like reading and reading a whole lot. Um, so I've got dyslexia, so that means I, I kind of struggle with large amounts of text. So if I could, I'd rather draw the details out like this as much as I could and then make the text a bit smaller. Um, kind of really lent into using visual lists like these ones here of the dogs um, of the crew members here uh, I use quite a few maps in here as well I love a good map like this one and uh, vignettes or cut to whites and then also panels like this from from what I used to see in comic books so I really hope it appeal, appeals to readers like myself who still love a good story, but you're not such a keen reader. Um, and my challenge to you is to um, go away and think about a trip you might be going on or would like to go on. So you might be going on holiday or you might have a really amazing trip in your head like you want to go to the moon or to Mars or to the bottom of the ocean. And what are my challenges for you is can you draw out all of your... Um, equipment that you need to go on that adventure so can you draw all of the things you need to take just like I did here for Shackleton's journey can you detail all the different items you might need 
perhaps you could even draw the, the vessel or the craft or the ship or rocket that you might be using for your adventure and go into some of the details about how it's made and things like that. So that's my challenge for you. Um, just have a go at drawing out that uh, visual list for the adventure you want to go on. Okay, thank you very much.